Managing Internal Organization for Strategy Implementation. We all know strategy implementation is a crucial issue because any strategy is as good as the effort behind it to move it forward. Successful strategy implementation requires support, discipline, motivation and hard work from all managers and employees. In this lesson, we will explain the issues in strategy implementation, discuss the strategy structure relationship, discuss the meaning and significance of divisionalization, explain the strategic business units and explain the matrix organization structure and its significance. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain the issues in strategy implementation, the strategy structure relationship, divisionalization, the strategic business units, project organization, the matrix organization structure, and factor influencing organization structure. The successful implementation of strategy requires an effective organization. People working within a firm should know how their actions interrelate with the actions of others to support and execute the firm's strategy. Functional plans and policies need to be formulated carefully and implemented with active support from employees at various levels. Activating strategy there is no guarantee that a well-designed strategy is likely to be approved and implemented automatically. The strategic leader must, therefore, defend the strategy from every angle, communicate how the strategy, when implemented, would benefit the whole organization and secure the wholehearted support of employees working at various levels. While giving a concrete shape to the strategy, he should also take note of regulatory mechanisms that govern business activity and see that everything is in order. The action plans, however, must try to translate the overall strategic plan in letter and spirit without any deviations. Issues like who will do what, what kind of support is required at various stages, what kind of privities have to be fixed while implementing Active plans. How does a particular active plan contribute to the broad objectives of the strategy, etc., must also be carefully looked into. Once the action plans are ready, the strategist must resolve issues relating to allocation of scarce resources over the entire organization. The term organization structure describes the framework of an organization in which individual effort is coordinated. It is nothing but a chart of relationships. To be effective, the basic structure is governed by a set of rules and regulations, reward punishment systems, information networks, control procedures, etc. While trying to relate the structure to strategy, managers have a wide choice based on how authority relationships are prescribed, how departments are created, etc. The design choices basically revolve around the following types, the functional structure, the divisional structure, the profit and matrix forms, the emerging structures like teams, virtual teams and boundary-less organizations, etc. In the functional structure, activities are grouped together by common function. Each functional unit has a dissimilar set of duties and responsibilities. Functional design has the great advantage of clarity. Everybody has a home. It provides economy of scale within functions. It reduces duplication and waste. Each departmental manager is concerned with only one kind of work and can concentrate all his energies upon it with minimum diversion and coordination within functions is easy, centralized, decision making ensures unity of performance. Divisionalization is the process of dividing the large functional pyramids into smaller flexible administrative units. It is essentially designed to foster independent and self-contained units. It creates a set of essentially autonomous little companies in terms of product or geography. It is particularly adaptable to the large and complex modern organization. Product or commodity departmentation 
is particularly adaptable to tremendously large, complex and multi-product organizations. Product departmentation calls for division of organization work on product basis. Product departmentation focuses on results and performance than on means. The product structure is organized basically according to organizational outputs. Product structures involve dismemberment of the monolithic functional organization into autonomous units. Within each of these units lies another organizational form and it's almost always of the functional type. Divisionalization tends to create additional departments and divisions leading to duplication of effort. Geographic divisionalization sets up separate regional units, each self-sufficient in manufacturing, marketing, etc. to cater to the needs of local markets. The SBU structure is an extension of the divisional structure. In its most extreme form, the SBU operates as a separate autonomous organization and may periodically send profits to the corporate parent. Each unit will have a clearly defined strategy based on its capabilities and overall organizational needs. The SBU's autonomy will decrease if profits are lower than the parent expects. The parent may impose controls at various levels to ward off risks arising out of independent operations at a different location. It improves coordination between divisions with similar strategic concerns and product or market environments and tightens the strategic management and control of large, diverse business enterprises. It places another layer of management between the divisions and the corporate management and unhealthy completion of corporate resources. The project structure is an effective way of focusing all of the necessary talent and organizational resources for a given period on a specific project goal. The best talent is pooled to achieve a specific and complex undertaking within time, cost and or quality parameters. It permits large doses of information and activity to be managed without overloading the hierarchical structure. The project structure is quite similar to product organization. Project structures usually have limited life whereas product structures are created to deal with profitable products having a long life. Project management calls for the appointment of a project manager who is responsible for the completion of the project. The project involves members from various functional departments or from outside. A project possesses a vertical as well as a horizontal dimension. It cuts across the normal organization structure. A project manager is expected to work with various functional managers by seeking their support through persuasive bargaining. In the matrix structure, project managers are assigned to a variety of projects. Matrix structure is simply an extension of the project management concept. The matrix breaks the unity of command concept. The classical principle, one man, one boss, is violated. The normal vertical hierarchy is overplayed by a form of lateral influence. The matrix legitimates lateral chains of influence. The top leader holds the balance of power. He must be willing to delegate decisions. He must emphasize direct contact and group problem solving at lower levels so as to promote effective communication throughout the organization. Matrix bosses have authority over project employees relative to project's goals. Matrix subordinates are often confronted with an agonizing choice. He must confront senior managers on conflicting demands and reach joint decisions with them. A matrix form permits efficient utilization of resources, especially manpower. Resources can be freely allocated across different products. Matrix forms encourage constant interaction among project units and functional department members. The direct and frequent contact between different specialties in the matrix can make for better communication and more flexibility.
matrix structures ensure the maintenance of high technical standards. Matrix structure is a way of balancing customers' needs for project completion and cost control with the organization's need for economic cooperation and development of technical capability for the future. A matrix structure helps employees to develop and grow. It enlarges their experience and broadens their outlook. It exposes them to a wider arena full of challenges. A matrix structure is far from being a cure-all for all the embarrassments, expenses and delays that plague even the best managed organizations. There is considerable evidence that an organization's size is a significant influence on structure. For example, consider this scenario. As an organization adds more employees, there is more specialization and horizontal differentiation. To facilitate coordination, more managers are needed. This increases vertical differentiation. Technology is another important variable in the design of organization structure. To achieve satisfactory performance, managers must design an organization with the proper mix of technology, structure and human behavior. Technology in simple terms is the organization's transformation process. It is the combination of skills, equipment and relevant technical knowledge needed to bring about desired transformation in materials, information and people. The term environment refers to those factors external to the organization that influence the effectiveness of the firm's day-to-day -day operations and its long-term growth. A major influence on organization structure is the stock of personnel employed at the enterprise. The attitudes, aspirations, experiences and roles of organization members are also related to the structure of the organization. Choosing the right structure in any case is very important because switching from one structure to another is a costly and time-consuming exercise. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Successful strategy implementation requires support, discipline, motivation and hard work from all managers and employees. Right or wrong? Right. Functional structure is useful when the firm begins operations at a multi-site. Right or wrong? Wrong. Product departmentation calls for division of organization work on product basis. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Organization structure is the framework in which the organization defines how tasks are divided, resources are deployed and departments are coordinated. Organizing is the deployment of organizational resources to achieve strategic goals. Decentralization means the location of decision authority near lower organization levels. The SBU structure is an extension of the divisional structure. In its most extreme form, the SBU operates as a separate autonomous organization and may periodically send profits to the corporate parent. Departmentation is the process of grouping jobs according to some logical arrangement. Functional departmentation is the grouping of positions into departments based on similar skills, expertise and resource use. Product departmentation means grouping activities around products or product groups. Matrix structure is a structure that superimposes a horizontal set of divisional reporting relationships onto a hierarchical functional structure. 